I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. So Anastasia, and today I'm gonna to show you how to cover a pillow form. You totally have these in all of your throw pillows laying around the house, on your bed, on the couch, on the chairs, etc. Or you can buy them at the craft store. There's totally an aisle full of all different shapes and sizes just waiting to be covered. Updating your pillows is super easy. Let's say you just got a brand new bedspread and your pillows don't match anymore. Well, I'm gonna show you a super simple way to update the pillows that you already have. Why spend the time and waste your money on a pillow at the store when you can totally make the one that you're looking for yourself and feel totally rewarded every time you lay on it because you made it. So let's do it, let's recover a pillow. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing lessons so you can pick any project you want, book your time with me, and I will help you with your project from my design studio to yours. And if you're in Chicago, you can come into my design studio and take a class with me. Information for all of that is going to be down below or you can go to sewanastasia.com. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also going to need your scissors or rotary cutter. You're also gonna need a pillow form or the inside of a pillow that you already have. You're also gonna need some fabric to cover your pillow. The amount of fabric you need is gonna depend on the size of pillow that you're covering. So make sure you measure your pillow before you buy your fabric. The first thing we're gonna do is measure our pillow. So grab your measuring tape and let's measure it from seam to seam. Now keep in mind that a pillow is dimensional. It has a shape to it, it's not just flat. Or if you just bought a pillow form, it probably says on the outside of your package how big the pillow is. So I'm gonna find the seam on the right side and come all the way over to the left side. So my pillow is 20 inches across and it is 20 inches long. So my pillow is gonna be 20 by 20. Since we need to add seam allowance to our pillow and my pillow is 20 by 20, I'm gonna be adding a half inch seam allowance all the way around. So my new square is going to be 21 by 21. Now the pillow consists of one outside square and on the back of it, there's gonna be two rectangles that are overlapping. This is called an envelope cover. So let's measure out our fabric and cut it out. Okay, so let's cut out the fabric. I have my fabric laid out, it looks nice. So you really wanna make sure you make everything even. So I have a nice right angle at the bottom here and I'm using the grid on my table to keep everything nice and even. Now remember, I need 21 by 21. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna go up and find where 21 is on this grid. So it is right here. So because I'm working on a giant grid, what I can do is go ahead and take my ruler daintily and lay it across at 21. And now what I can do is take my rotary cutter and just go straight across. If you don't have a cutting mat and a quilting ruler at home, don't worry about it. You can totally use any straight edge and some chalk. Now that we've measured 21 inches up, we need to now measure 21 inches across and then cut that way. So I have my ruler at the very edge of my fabric. I'm gonna come all the way over to 21, which is gonna be this mark here on the grid. So I can go ahead and turn my ruler, line it up with the other line on the bottom of the mat, and let's cut off the extra. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out the back panels for the pillow. They're gonna be 21 inches long and 14 inches high. This is gonna give us a three inch overlap. So my first one is measuring up the 14 inches and coming across. So this is my line on my mat. We're gonna turn our ruler. Make sure everything's still lined up. Go ahead and cut across your fabric. Okay, so now we have to go back down, but first we need to measure across 21 inches. So 21 inches on the grid is gonna be this line right here. 
So we're gonna take our ruler, flip it, line it up at the top and the bottom, and go ahead and cut. Now that you have one panel that's 21 by 14, you wanna make sure you cut one more. Now we have three pieces cut out. We have one panel for the front and two panels for the back. Let's head over to the sewing machine and sew this up. The first thing we're gonna do is roll hem the envelope part that flaps over. So the back envelope portion is gonna consist of these two smaller pieces. We're gonna go ahead and roll hem the side that's 21 inches long. And you're gonna do one side on each one of them. So you have two pieces. So I'm gonna do this piece and this piece because they're gonna end up overlapping each other. So don't worry about the other ends because those are gonna be caught in the seam allowance when we sew the front to it. Make sure you have your machine set to straight stitch. And today I'm gonna be using the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 2, but you can use any sewing machine that has a straight stitch. And I'm going to be doing a quarter inch rolled hem because I left a half inch for my seam allowance. And a quarter and a quarter is a half inch. So we're gonna go ahead and roll our fabric a quarter and another quarter, and then go ahead and put it under the foot and when you're stitching, make sure that your stitch is going to be over here on the left-hand side at that fold. I like to line up the fold of my fabric with the inner right angle. Check out that beautiful quarter inch rolled hem. Now go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side. Now that we have both sides rolled hem, let's go ahead and lay it out and sew it up. When we're laying this out, we wanna make sure that we're putting our right sides together. So I'm gonna take the front of my pillowcase fabric and put it face up. And then I'm gonna take the other two pieces and I'm gonna put them face down. So that way, right sides are together. Okay, make sure everything is nice and lined up. Notice our nice overlap here. Okay, now all we need to do is sew all the way around the square. Make sure you're using a half inch seam allowance. And after this step, we're going to be finished. Can you believe it? Time to refinish all the pillows in the house. I'm gonna start at the corner and I have my fabric lined up with the half inch. <laughs> So now you're gonna end up sewing over the overlap and you're gonna have three layers here. Just make sure all three layers are staying lined up on the side. When you get to the corner, make sure your needle's in the fabric, lift up your foot and turn. And if you notice that the seam allowance is too big, no worries, go ahead, do a few more stitches, lift up your foot and turn. When you get to the very end, make sure you backstitch and cut. Now that you have it all sewed together, it should look something like this. Let's go ahead and turn it right side out. This one is so easy to turn right side out. Make sure you push out your corners. And voila! we have our cover for our pillow, our envelope cover. So grab your pillow form and let's put it in the cover we made. Check that out. Looks awesome. Yay. We finished the pillow. It looks so awesome. That was so easy to do. I think it's time to refinish all the pillows in the house now. It's now time to give the house a DIY pillow makeover. Thanks so much for watching Sew so Anastasia today. If you have any questions on making a cover for your pillow, make sure you leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers, so make sure you share the video with all your friends and family. Give it some love, give it a thumbs up, make a comment, make sure you give us some applause, check out the website, you know, there's lots of great ways you can help support So Anastasia. And I appreciate it so much. And I would love to see your projects, I would love to see your pillow projects. 
So send me over pictures of your projects. You can DM them to me on Instagram or Facebook and make sure you give me your tag so I can tag you in your projects and keep sharing the creativity. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Zoe Anastasia and Anastasia Chaska. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and all those fabulous social media sites. And if you're in Chicago, you can come take an in-person sewing class with me, or you can take a virtual sewing class as well. Information for all of that is going to be down below, or you can visit SewAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for sewing with me today. Bye!